A bizarre story tonight out of Cochise County. Investigators there say a woman gave her baby away and then lied about it. Yes, they say there is no evidence that any money was involved and her sentencing is scheduled for next month. Meanwhile, her 24 year old husband is half a world away and he's heartbroken. News 4 Tucson investigator Matthew Schwartz has our details. I was pretty upset. I at first I was kind of in denial. I couldn't believe what was going on. Army Sergeant Stephen Garcia is in Seoul, South Korea, serving our country. He's also involved in a very different battle involving his wife and a baby. Sergeant Garcia went to South Korea in June of 2017. Eight months later, his wife Marina gave birth. Did you think you were the father? I was under the assumption the entire time that she was pregnant that I was the father, yes. The baby boy was born on February 2nd here at Canyon Vista Medical Center in Sierra Vista. Investigators say that a few weeks earlier, Marina Garcia called Stephen Garcia's sister to tell her that the baby was a girl and had died during childbirth. So when my sister called me about that, uh, it was pretty emotional though. We cried quite a bit together over the phone. Um, it was devastating. On February 5th, a Department of Public Safety trooper stopped a car for speeding on I-10 near Wilcox. Inside were Alex and Leslie Hernandez and a newborn baby. The trooper told investigators the couple seemed nervous and eventually admitted they were not the parents, that they, quote, conspired with the birth mother who was identified verbally as Marina Garcia to forge the signature as the father to take possession of the infant child. The only thing on her mind was getting rid of this child, this problem in her life. Cochise County attorney Brian McIntyre says Marina Garcia could have given up the baby for adoption, but lied to her husband and gave the newborn to the Hernandezes, who were old friends of hers. What scares me is that if it hadn't been the Hernandezes, if the couple hadn't um, been willing to step forward, then what person off the internet might have been next? We found Marina Garcia at an apartment in Sierra Vista. Hello. Hi. Marina? I'm Matthew Schwartz. I know who you are. Did you tell Stephen's sister that the baby Dude, you're not, had you're died? Not to answer any questions. Let's say you were told by somebody wrongly that your baby had died and the baby hadn't. How would you feel? I'm not reeling any information. Did you think, Marina, of giving the baby up for adoption? I'm not answering any questions. The DPS report has Marina telling investigators she doesn't know how adoption works. Sergeant Garcia, as you might expect, has filed for divorce. DNA tests show he is not the biological father. However, he wants custody of the baby and says he's gone into debt to travel from South Korea to the U.S. to visit the infant. Because, you see, Stephen Garcia himself is adopted. My adopted father completely changed my life. Without him, I, I would not be where I am today. And for the opportunity to do that for, for someone else, I believe it's important. Um, it could change the child's life and give him a better future, and I believe that's, that's the right thing to do. He's not going to get custody of the baby. He's not the biological father. Will you tell us who is? Uh, it's an unknown it's a no. The 31 year old Garcia pleaded guilty to the felony of an attempted scheme to defraud by forging the birth certificate naming Alex Hernandez as the father. Her sentencing is scheduled for next month. Alex and Leslie Hernandez pleaded guilty to conspiring to commit forgery because they cooperated with investigators and had no prior felonies, each received four years probation. If you could talk to Marina now, what would you say to her? I would just ask her why. Um, why she lied about everything. Um, I just, I want to know, I want to know what was going through her head, to be honest with you. 
The baby is in foster care, and a cousin of Sergeant Garcia's has started a GoFundMe page to offset his legal and travel expenses. We've put the link to it on our website. Sergeant Garcia wants custody of a baby that's not his, but one he wants to someday call him dad. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email us at investigators at kvoa.com or call 955-4444. Investigating for you, Matthew Schwartz, News 4 Tucson.